of our customers have asked why, why would there be a collaboration between iTron and and Nokia. So I I think it's maybe an evolutionary process because we both have many of the same customers and we've both been in this business for a long time. I also see that we're more and more are solving some of the same challenges. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense that we would try and solve them collaboratively. What's really clear to, to us as iTron is, uh, and our customers are really pushing us towards this, is they see the challenges in front of them are going to require really, truly end-to-end -end e ecosystem of solutions and leaders in different parts of, the, of their sort of their traditional value chain working together to enable those, those solutions. I think that one of the challenges that utilities ask us about when, when they're considering the scope of all the things that you just mentioned is how do I reduce the risk, secure and control uh, all of the new points, new use cases that are coming onto the network. And I think that is one of the reasons there's so much momentum around adding private networks or, or building private networks with, with more functionality to be able to support the use cases Electrification is a, is a massive challenge and an opportunity, and electric utilities are realizing that they just can't use uh, sort of the traditional approaches of putting in more wires, building more poles, putting in more infrastructure in order to serve that peak. It truly has to be the case that managing the demand side and reducing the peak, flattening that curve, um, allowing consumption to happen, uh, at different times of day is an absolute necessity uh, for this future, for the future stability of the grid and just the, the ability of utilities to generate, transmit and deliver power to all of us when we need it and expect it to happen. We've seen even some interesting use cases around using early AI to be able to enhance workforce or augment the workforce that's out there so that you can analyze multiple data points faster, or you can get uh, aggregate information supplied to your workforce so they can do in newer things. We, a lot of the things that Nokia has done with some of, some of our AI has been around energy management. Uh, when I say energy management, I'm talking about uh, things like turning on or off radios when they're being used or not mm. used, being able to monitor the actual usage on a cell site, for example, so so that we can tell, so that we can use use AI to optimize that particular cell site. And that means that you can manage the assets that are out there with less people. Just thinking about our own customer base as iTron, where you know we have gas and water utilities that, that operate in, in very diverse uh, territory and far-flung territories where a public-based solution is going to be key for them. And private LTE is a wonderful solution for providing you know, a, a robust and uh, um, backhaul for, for information. Uh, so it's, it's, it's going to require this mix of assets. And, uh, and I agree. I think that's where it's that pragmatic approach and thinking about this, that you know, there's not one widget that we're going to bring to market that's going to rule the world. But how do we put these pieces together that I think is, um, it's, again, is a good fit between our two companies and how we approach the world. We both know, I think, a big reason for, for us to collaborate together is because our customers, collective customers, are, are really seeing at this point, you know, they have always desired uh, to have private communication solutions that they themselves control, where they know that I'm the one and only and most important tenant on this network. I think, especially as, speaking from the iTron perspective, um, watching the evolution of 3GPP standards such that machine-to-machine -machine capabilities have now become a real focus of 3GPP, and I know that Nokia is a big part of, of that evolution happening, and thankfully, you guys have a long history of working with utilities, so I know you're bringing um, that, that awareness of utility needs to, to, um, to the industry and helping those standards evolve. We have to have strategic collaborations in order to be able to be successful, to solve customers' issues, and to have happy customers. I want to thank you for being here, coming in, seeing us. Uh, seeing the work that the team's already started here in the Innovation Center and 
Thank you, Ty. No, my pleasure, Ken. Thank you for having us. And I think I'm excited to see what we're able to produce together going forward. Because you're absolutely right. Our customers are demanding that we collaborate together, work together to solve really big picture problems. It's important.